from us three-year-olds. I'm going to try it. You're going to try, try it, it this year, yeah. But as soon as I see that they don't make good prices, I stop them. You stop them, yeah. yeah. So, unlike a widowwood fancier, he can raise the hens as young pigeons, and uh, maybe he'll have a few late races with the hens on nest, or early races on nest, and he can select his hens like that for breeding potential. How will you select the cocks for their breeding potential when you're only racing hens? Um, there are some places available here. Yeah. And the best racing cocks, uh, of the best young cocks who have raced, came here. And I try them against the yearlings. Yeah. When they are two years old, I try the best ones out in boxes. And after two years, I know it. Yeah, I yeah. have had several uh, hands, so I see when. Yeah. So the young cocks that you've played on the races with, you'll couple them in here yep. with hens. After that, you'll have them on a ball system, coupling them with three, four hens. Yeah. So within two seasons, I know you know yep. what they're producing. Yeah. yeah. We can't argue with the results. So obviously, the system's working. Yeah. Well, yeah, and the loft, um, the total length of the loft, what is the length of the loft? Um, the section of the hands is, I think, six meters. Six meters, yeah. And uh, again, yeah. there's no, you can't close the ceiling off, it's no. just a wire ceiling, tiled roof. On the other side are the breeders, which are on yeah. the front side with the uh, Averys. No ventilation on the front again, just the plastic windows. Any heat in here with the hens? No heat for the early part of the no. season? No. The sun. Just the sun. Yeah. yeah. And you were telling me earlier, the this loft and the young pigeon loft are always warmer than yeah. the breeding loft. Yeah. And see, which direction will this loft face? Because it's facing opposite to the uh, young bird loft. No, it's east side. This face is east. Yeah. Young yeah. birds is south. And the young birds is south. And the breeders is west. Is west. So would you say west is a bad position to face a racing loft then? If it's always colder than yeah. you? Yeah. Don't face your racing loft west. Yeah. yeah. I'm not for sure, but... Yeah. Judging on what's happening yeah. in your garden, yeah, I should don't do put it. the loft facing west. Yeah. With the hens, Freddie, uh, when you're racing cocks, you can see how they're playing around the loft, they're flying high, flying on their mm. own, coming back. How, when I've had hens, you let hens out and they fly, fly in a very tight group and they fly well. But how can you tell when a hen is right for the race? You know, when you feel confident that you're going to uh, bet heavy on her. Mm -hmm. When I open the windows and they come in, they must not hesitate one second to enter that box. Yeah. When they are going to the floor or to another box, it isn't right. Yeah. And they will. They'll come straight back in, through the yeah. window, straight into the box. Straight into the box. When a hen does that, you're confident yeah. of a good yeah. flight. I am. Um, yeah. 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 And, uh, that and it don't matter if he, she has had much food or, or not much food. It's, it's nothing so to, to, to do with the food. Yeah, you told me earlier you've got to be careful feeding hens. Um, with cocks, it's a little bit easier than feeding mm. hens. You must keep the hens on diet longer, yeah. so that they're still eating on the last day. day. Yeah. yeah, they eat as much as the la and on the last day as um, at the first day. Yeah, you, you, you've got this thing about feeding whereby you don't weigh the food. No. A good fancier can see yep. how much a pigeon needs. needs to eat. And every pigeon is different. Every pigeon I is know uh, this one needs more food than this one. Yeah. So you you have to see it. Yeah. We're going to have a look at your mixtures now, your different yep. mixtures, what you use, because okay. you don't just use one bag. No. You use different bags. Yeah. And different uh, marks. So different different companies, different, different makes companies, from different yeah. companies, yeah. yeah. And your tea that we mentioned earlier, you're yeah. a big tea yeah. user. We'll have a look, yeah? We're going to okay. have a look. Okay. 
And if a pigeon's late back from the flight, Freddie, is there anything you'll do then? Uh, he don't go into the loft. No. He goes here in the separate boxes. Right. And he stays here for, let's say, a week. And in this week, he, he gets a treatment against uh, trichomonas, uh, coccidiose and worms worms yeah so you treat your pigeons for worms yeah. yeah yeah when they are coming back yeah how, otherwise, how late no. you know is that if, not if they're the next day how, no. how late um let's say two days yeah when they are totally lost yeah when they are not totally lost they go to the loft yeah into the loft that's no problem but after three four days they yeah yeah that's probably somewhere where a lot of fantasies fall down a pigeon's missing two days it comes back, they let him straight in the loft. Yep. Here. No. Again, you're a man for attention to detail, yep. aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. And they'll have a cure, like you say, trichomonosis, coccidiosis, coccidiosis worms. and worms. Yeah. Yep. And you get no, uh, you were saying earlier with all the straw, no coccidiosis. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I have noticed while I've been going around your loft, Freddie, and that's uh, grit. You've got a big thing with grit, haven't you? Uh, there's no grit pot where the grit's put all week. Every box has uh, fresh grit yep. every day. And the young every pigeons day. also grit also, yeah. every day. Yep. Yeah. Why do you do this as opposed to... Uh, because I noticed the pigeons like the new grit when I put them in the morning into the pot or the, the things. Uh, they like it. When you left them for three, four days, they don't eat. Yeah. it anymore so, so I think for their uh, yeah for the digestive system and it's better they that it, they yeah. get every time and also I, I noticed also uh, when I let my pigeons out and I give them not a, f a new grid they go uh, they want to be pecking on the garden uh, yeah in the garden yeah so fresh grit every day yeah You've shown us these three products, Freddie, that you use. Um, they're fairly uh, ordinary products. Any pigeon fancier can buy. Your results aren't fairly ordinary, though. They're quite outstanding, which is one of the reasons we've come here. Have you any other products in this cupboard that uh, you can show us that you use? <laughs> You've got that grin on you. Every fancier says, oh, but he didn't show us his secrets. Show us your secrets. What else do you give? Uh, I think I show already my secrets with the pigeons. With the pigeons, That's yeah. the biggest secret. The second secret is the motivation of the fancier himself. Yeah. And then you have some products to help. So we have here the two things I use. Tea. Tea for in the water. And I put some Sedacol. Sedacol. Tea and Sedacol. Yeah. And how many days will you give this tea? Uh, as many as possible, but in uh, mostly three or four, four days in a week. Three or four days, yeah. yeah. And, and why do you give it three or four days as opposed to just one day? I believe uh, with tea you need a certain period to give yeah. it to uh, that it has uh, effect. An effect, yeah. And then this tea's from your uh, local veterinary. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Tea from the vet. Right, remember that one. And the other product there, the orange product, that's yes. Sedacol. Sedacol. Yeah. And you put the Sedacol on the corn? No, or in with the tea. In with the tea, in the yep. water. In the water the with the tea. F three, four days a week, the same as yep. the tea. Yeah. Which days will you give the tea? At the beginning of the week or towards the end of the week? Uh, let's say from Monday to Tuesday. Yeah, Monday Something. to Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Anything else in there? Uh, yeah. That's another thing for yeah. flagell for yeah. trichomonosis, yeah. just like uh, metronidazole tablets. Yeah. 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 Flagell. Yeah. Then and we have former. These are just uh, eye cleaning drops yeah. for. Uh, to uh, disinfect the eyes. Yep. Yeah. You give this when they uh, return or before they go? Yeah, or? yeah. two times yeah. a week. And two that's the same 
thing. Yeah. And they're just ordinary drops from Fabry. Yeah. yeah. And this. It's just teramycin. Yeah. Just Both again, them. if they've had a peck in yep. the eye, just uh, to stop anything yep. uh, nasty coming up in their eyes. It's just ordinary teramycin. Yeah. Yep. And that's it. The only that's, other time that's all is we have uh, here the tea against. Yeah, for the breeders. Tea. More tea. More tea. You're nearly an Englishman, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. The only that's other it. time is uh, yeah. if there's a problem, yep. you go down to the local vet who yep. supplies your tea and uh, he sorts yep. it out for you. Yeah. Only we get uh, when we have problems with the uh, Cory. Yeah. Uh, then we go to also to the vet. Yeah. And he gives us something uh, to treat them yeah now feeding this is uh, somewhere something that a lot of fanciers fall down on and um, we've seen grains or bags of corn mixtures marketed by companies for different fancies this is the expert mix there's not a corn company in the world that could market your food because you have several different sorts of mixture yeah so how do you go about feeding um, I start feeding them in the beginning of the week with super diet. What, just that super diet or do yep. you take super diet from three different firms? From three different firms. I have it yep. from Bayers, from Verzele and from Robais. Yeah. Yeah. And what's I the... mix it all together. Yeah. And sometimes I do... A little bit of Mariman uh, also in it. Yeah, a bit of so, Mariman super diet, yeah. 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 And you take them all together, mix it yep. up, yep. and that. Um, what about your sport mixture? Uh, I use also uh, five different uh, mar uh, companies. Yeah. Mar companies and i mix it all together i started with super diet in the beginning yeah. of the week and then uh, when we come in the middle of the week i start to mix the super diet with the yeah. sport yeah and at the end of the week i stopped with the diet in it and i put some maize in it maize yeah. any particular maize just just good maize yeah, yeah. Uh, from the local uh, corn merchant yeah yeah, yeah. you know uh, preference for popcorn maize cribs maize no nope. not both i i maize. listen to the the man who have the store and he says that's the best one at this, this moment and i use this one that's the one you take yeah when the birds return from a flight which food will they have? Will they have sport mix, diet, diet. mix, super yeah. diet? And they'll have super diet until the middle of the week. Yeah. And then 50-50, then start, start yeah. increasing. Let's say not 50-50, I said 100%, no percent. Yeah. And then 90, 10, yeah. 80. And then yeah. I go to 50-50 and then we are Wednesday. And then I stopped with the diet yeah. and I go for full sport and the last day, mice. Yeah, you see, you're quite fortunate in the sense that uh, you've got the feeding off to an art in the fingers. You can see it and you can feel yep. it. For a guy that struggles to feed his pigeons, because most people, this is the area where they're falling down. Most people can get good pigeons, they can build a good loft, but they don't know how to feed the pigeons. What is a good indication of somebody that's given their pigeon either too much or too little feed. How many grains of food will a pigeon leave if he has too much or if he has too little? I think too little you can't see because yeah. there is nothing left. Too much uh, for my hands, it's five corns. Yeah, that's too five much. Five individual, if a bird's yeah. got five individual grains left, yeah. you've fed him too much. Yeah. yeah. And when you do that one time, that's no problem. But with, when you do that a whole week, at the end of the week, he has 10 feeding yeah, yeah. times. Yeah, so he's 50 grains over. Yeah. And that's a lot in a and pigeon, you think. too much, yeah. yeah. And another thing I like to talk about feeding, your young pigeons. Your young pigeons, they raced driving the hens to nest. Yeah. 
sitting eggs, feeding small youngsters, feeding big youngsters. When you feed the young pigeons, what's your system when you're feeding the young pigeons? Do you just give them as much as they want, twice a day or once a day? How do you decide when the young birds have had enough food? When I feel it, Again. it's not... I, I see in some uh, things that they say, I stopped when the first one is going to the... Drink pot? Drink, drinking pot, yeah. It's, I think it's that. That's not because when you have youngsters with youngsters, yeah. they go faster to the drink pot than another one who has uh, eggs. There is then someone who is coming from his nest after one minute. The others are eating. So this is the one who is going probably eating the last one, or is prob for sometimes he is nest pick some grains hop and it's back on his nest you can't stop then you must feel it yeah. you must look and i don't put it all together in the feeding yes. box no uh, i put a little i sh see put a little back uh, again in it so i i feed one time yes. but i don't put it all, all together a yeah a little at a time yeah watch the pigeons We've spoke about grit gathering dust in the loft. Uh, what about a water pot? Because water is the biggest carrier disease in the world, really, you know, humans. Uh, mm -hmm. How much care do you take with the drinking pots in the loft? A lot of. A lot of. Because I clean it every day and uh, they get it back the same drinking pot only two three days after yeah. this was washed yeah. out so they washed left to dry yeah and a new drinking pot that's it's also the system with the hands i have they have a pot and i have fresh waiting. drinking yep. pots yeah everything every drinking vessel is times two in this loft yeah yep uh what but the breeding pigeons, that's totally different from the flies, isn't it? Your system with the breeding pigeons, yep. totally different. You, you, you wash the drinkers, but you don't change the drinkers. They don't have no v vitamins. Yep. With the breeders, I nothing. don't give medication. No medication. I don't wash out the pots, the drink pots. I do nothing. Nothing. They have to do it with water and cork. Yeah. And I take it that's to provide some good natural immunity yeah. for the youngsters they're breeding. What about at the end of the season? End of season care. Everybody's talking about for 10 days we give a cure for paratyphus or some people even vaccinating to try and stop paratyphus. Anything like that here? No. Nope. There's no cure for paratyphus at the end of the nope. season? Nothing? No. Nope. No cure? Nothing? No. And what about if, if you bring a pigeon in then from another loft as an introduction, will he go through the same system as what Here these do? Yeah. And the the drops are yeah uh, going to the vet. To the vet, yeah. And they are controlled yeah. for uh, coccidial worms and paratyphus. Yeah. That's something I do uh, a lot of times. I uh, uh, bring some Drop drops. Ones to the for testing yeah yeah for the testing in the yeah i don't know mm. it in english the uz we call it here uh, in the, the off Veer season yeah the, the veertsene school the the school where they teach uh, ghent you ghent. take them to ghent university yeah the university of ghent yeah and is that in the winter time then you'll take your droppings to ghent yeah, yeah? and, and in, you the do summertime. It in the summer time yeah, also yeah yeah, yeah. yeah? Always oh, again, yeah. yeah. Um, when you take a dropping sample, how many uh, droppings will will you take? Will you, you know, uh, uh, from five days, yeah. from as many pigeons as possible. Yeah. And can I ask, what does the university charge for having those droppings screened for a fancier? Uh, when I take my droppings to Ghent and say, please test my droppings. If I take droppings from 50 uh, pigeons, say? It's uh, for the first uh, style. Yeah. For the first 
thing you put there, yeah. it's about uh, 15 euros. 15 euros, yeah. And every time you put another, yeah. on the same day, it's about 3 4 euros. 3 or 4 euros for every extra sample, yeah. Um, so if you take 10 samples, then it's 27 and 15. It's 40 odd euros, yeah. so about 30 pounds, you get all your pigeons tested and they test for what? Worms, coccidiosis, trichomonosis? Uh, no, trichomonosis not. No? Uh, That's with the throat, yeah? Yeah, uh, paratyphus. Paratyphus yeah. as well. Especially yeah. for that. Especially for that, yeah. 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 So yeah. What, why giving uh, a vaccination when they don't have when it? When they don't have it, no. no. Freddie, you've got a code on the wall uh, by the drinking pots. Uh, what is this for? Um, that's the two crosses. It's uh, for the drink pots, for the hens and their cocks. Yeah. And the one is for the young birds. Yeah. And then when there is no uh, crossing, crossing on it, it's for the breeders. Yeah. When I wash it, but yeah. This is the breeding loft, Freddie. Yep. It's totally different from your other lofts. Grills on the floor. Uh, in here, they've got to develop a, a natural immunity to hope, hopefully pass it on to their youngsters. Yep. Medication is zero. Yep. Uh, drinking pots, they're just refreshed with water. Yep. Nothing like that. They're fed on the hopper all the time, are they? All the time, yep. yeah. Yep. And the nesting boxes, um, they're all electronically clean mm -hmm. here. Yep. You don't like your, your racing birds to have uh, the electronic boxes, no? No. 